Hello, Ryan Swaife here. I just want to show off our Producer's Pride Defender Coop set up here. Um, we've been working on it a little bit at a time. Been adding some little safety features, um, things to make the chickens more comfortable. I want happy chicks. Um, we have the 10 by 10 cage here. They came with the coop. We have the retriever, um, I guess it's a roof tarp combination. And I also added, which as you can see it blows in the wind, um, a sunshade that I believe was part of the retriever line. The panels from the retriever are pretty much the same as what came with the coop. Um, the reason I added that panel is because the chickens seem to want to hang out in the corner there and when the sun comes on them and and it's hot out I feel like it's gonna keep it a little bit cooler for them so walking inside our coop here I've added the easy water um, it did come with nipples, but I added the Cluckers cups. Um, they were having a little bit of trouble getting the water, and I wanted to make sure that they were able to access as much water as they needed. Uh, I have a little bowl here that I had a tomato in. They've pretty much pecked it to death, and it's over there in the corner. Um, have their little chick grit right there in their tub. Um, and I'll, I also have the easy feeder, which you can put a lot of food in there. You could probably go on vacation still. They would have plenty of food. Um, one more addition that we've added is an automatic door. Um, we've had to modify the door a little bit, the opening, to be able to install the the um, automatic door but it works wonderfully um, the door can be just comes with a program that it will open in the morning at sunrise and close at night at dusk or you can program it to open and close at the time you want now I have an opening in the morning it, it seems to work out fine with the sunrise but in the evening, I'm noticing here, um, it's almost the middle of June. This door is not closing till 9.30 at night. I work midnight shift. My husband works midnight shift. Um, it's, it just makes me a little nervous that, like, this door, they're in there roosting probably an hour before this door closes. So, I just like to know that they're secure, and I, I've set it right now for 8.45, and that seems to be working out fine. Um, inside the coop, they have two roosting bars. Um, they only use this one <laughs> for now. I guess when they get bigger, they might use the other one too. But also have a, a camera in here that I can watch them overnight, make sure they're all safe. In the back of the um, coop there, we have four nesting boxes. All right, and we have an addition to this cage here and this cupel that door down there opens up and when I'm awake oh one more thing I wanted to mention I did add a little stick up here secured it said that they could get up there and play around or whatever they want to do but we made another addition this setup we added the retriever panels to the back of this and the reason I wanted to do this is because of the animals at night we got raccoons we got foxes um, you name it we have it probably the only thing we don't have is wolves we have we've seen a bear around here recently so not saying this would stop a bear but we're hoping it's going to help a little bit. 
Um, to the top we've put, somebody donated some wire, so we've put it up there to stop the hawks. It also lets the rain come through. And this little area here, they like to forage. Um, like I said, when I'm home, I'll let them out here where I can watch them. We do not have hardware cloth out on the sides yet. Um, but anyways, it's a deterrent and we're, we're going to be improving as we go along, as we have time. Uh, back here on the back of the coop. Well... We have access to the nesting boxes where we can gather eggs. Below on the coop, we have a storage area, which I thought was kind of small, but it seems to be working out. I mean, I can fit, I've got two bags of uh, pine um, shavings in here. There's other stuff I can put in there, but I mean, that's not bad. But yeah, anyways, um, this is the area they come out on when I'm home and they, they get all excited. And then when I'm not home or at night, I close this door and keep them secure in, the, in their cage where we do have hardware cloth. Um, inside the coop here, you can see <laughs> they love their coop. And we've just got the pine shavings in there. I want to take you outside a little bit. Also, I put these little clips on here on all the doors, just in case. Just extra protection. But I want to take you outside for a second and show you where we put up the hardware cloth. Now this hardware cloth is, looks like it's the half inch hardware cloth. It has been buried in the ground at least a foot, probably more, probably more like 18 inches. And when the hole was dug, there was stakes put into the hardware, hardware cloth. So like, it is pinned down. It took my husband a long time just to get this done. We hadn't had rain for like three weeks matter of fact last night um it finally rained a little bit um so the ground is concrete that's kind of why like i just kind of have this hardware cloth up temporarily it's not in the ground yet but this this is like concrete and also at night they are locked safe in the coop for extra protection <laughs> um we have a security camera with a solar panel to keep the charge on the coop at night at all times. Um, I also put out a light that we um, turn on at night that kind of shines in this way direction because the coop is up against the cage right here and I'm thinking if something's going to try to get up and get into the coop it's going to be on this side and it's going to alert me. It's, it's also a deterrent having the light there this was an extra side that we did not use. We might throw it up on top and pin it down somehow. Future plans are even to possibly um, reinforce that netting and like put either wood across or some poles and really secure the roof of that coop. But I do want to leave it open. Um, and my little owl, he watches out too. So we've got the retriever um, cage on the back, which it literally took us like 15 minutes to put up with these uh, clamps here. It was so super easy, so worth it. Gives them a little extra room um, to forage. I'm sure they probably will eventually get bored of their coop and not enough to do in there. But And in the future, Maybe add an electric fence, let them come out and free range a little bit. But I definitely want to keep them protected. You kind of get attached to them. They're your babies. You want them happy. And they seem happy right now. So um, these chickens are supposed to be Americanas. 
I've got a certificate for them from the um, supplier I got them from. Um, we'll see. It's supposed to lay blue eggs. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. They're only, I'm going to say, 10 weeks old. I should have looked that up before I started this video. I'm going to say about 10 weeks old, so probably won't start laying until at least September, if that. But they've been a joy. They've been a, a happy distraction. Um, I guess that's about all I've got to say right now. Enjoy your day, and if you don't mind, subscribe to Ryan's channel. Thank you.